Idiopathic normal pressure hydrocephalus, which is often known as NPH or INPH, is a disorder in the older population uh, that has symptoms of trouble with walking and balance, trouble with thinking and memory, and trouble with bladder control. And it's associated with enlargement of the spinal fluid cavities of the brain, which are called the ventricles. A shunt is a little drainage system, and I, ha I have one here, uh, which consists of a small tube that the neurosurgeon actually places into the brain, into the spinal fluid cavities of the brain, is then connected to a valve that helps to regulate the flow through the shunt, and then another long tube that comes along under the neck and is usually taken down into the abdominal cavity. And its purpose is to drain the excess spinal fluid, not all of it, but just the excess spinal fluid, which is what helps to control the patient's symptoms. So the purpose of the trial was to demonstrate really beyond a reasonable doubt that shunt surgery is effective in INPH. And the way that that's accomplished is to use a, sh a shunt that's adjustable or programmable, and that allows us to give patients a shunt that either has an effectively off setting, which is called the placebo group, or a shunt that is functioning, that's the open shunt group, and to compare their outcomes at three months after surgery. And the patients who had the open shunt improved by 0.2 meters per second, and those in the placebo group essentially increased by zero. And that's a very statistically significant difference. Well, if, if there's one thing this study does, it resolves a controversy that's been around for many, many years. As I said, there have been a lot of physicians who doubt that the disorder exists or who doubt that the treatment with the surgical implantation of a shunt is either effective or safe. Our trial puts that to rest. And our hope is that now that that controversy is resolved, more neurologists, more neurosurgeons, more doctors will entertain the possibility of NPH as a diagnosis for their patients, take them through appropriate diagnostic steps, and treat them when hydrocephalus is found.